Hey guys, James here today and welcome to another building video here in The Sims 4. Today we are making a nightclub. This is Aqua Nightclub. Uh, basically, the, the first portion of this was actually built in a stream, uh, in a live stream, a long time ago. I never posted this particular stream on YouTube just because it was quite a fail. Like, I cut out about 30 to 40 minutes at the start where I was building something completely different and then I changed to building this. Uh, if you do want to see that stream, it will be on, I think it's in my past Twitch broadcasts over on my Twitch page, which, by the way, is always linked in the description down below. And also you saw the URL on the video at the start, just like my uh, Twitter. Uh, yeah, anyways, so we're building the club. It is uh, it is named as such because of the pool, if you hadn't already guessed. Uh, <laughs> that just makes a little bit of sense. And I also just want to say very quickly, even though even if you're watching this video, like, a few years down the line and I am far surpassed this number. I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, I hit 150,000 subscribers today and that was just awesome. I posted a, a room tour video uh, and a little behind the scenes video. So if you want to check those out, uh, just go to my channel and you can see them there. I'll probably also link them in the description down below if you are interested. Um, so yeah, that was, that, that was just a really cool little milestone here today. Anyways, so building the pool, uh, building the pool, building the nightclub. The pool, the idea behind the pool was that it was going to be like a suspended sort of hovering pool. And the inspiration from this actually came from a picture, an official picture that was released uh, for the pool update. I think I still have it on my desktop. I do. And that looks very cool. So I took inspiration from that picture. I'm going to put it in the video right now. So as you can see, that's kind of where the inspiration is coming from uh, for this build. And you'll definitely see that sort of evolve as we work through it. So I'm just trying to work on the initial shape because it is quite a weird shape. I've tried to get this diagonal protruding pool coming out of the build. And, and in doing so, it makes the rest of the building a really awkward shape. Uh, and it did actually make it kind of hard to work with. But when, I mean, once I got the, the design sort of rock and roll and I was, I was G to G as it were, you know, good to go. Why am I speaking like that? I don't know. Uh, yes, so adding some, trying to add some details next to the pool here, because I, I want the, first of all, it's a pool, there's a lot of water in it, so you'd imagine it being incredibly heavy. So I was trying to sort of make it, first of all, look like it was suspended out above the sort of lot. And then I was also trying to make it, you know, look like it was actually being supported by something. Uh, and right now, the current building shape does not represent the final shape at all, which you may or may not have seen uh, if you looked at the thumbnail for the video. Although the thumbnail is quite small, so you don't see that much. Uh, of course, this is available for download on the gallery as always. It is called Aqua Nightclub. You can search that, or you can search hashtag Aqua, or you can search hashtag The Sim Supply, or search for my origin ID, which is, of course, The Sim Supply. So you can find it under all of those key names. Yeah, that's right. Um, <laughs> anyways, yeah, so extending the building here and there. I definitely wanted, uh, like, I wanted a suspended look of the pool, but I also wanted the building to actually be connected to it, like, on the inside, so it could have windows from the interior to the pool. I thought that would just look really, really cool, so I definitely wanted to try and get that to, to work. Um, and that, that's basically kind of what I'm doing now, just pushing and pulling the building all around, trying to get uh, the right shape and size. Uh, so that everything sort of flows quite nicely together. Getting some stairs in there. I, I wish The Sims 4 had diagonal stairs. I can't believe that we still don't have diagonal stairs in a Sims game. I mean, there obviously must be some sort of technical reason, or maybe they just don't see the point in doing them. But how are there not diagonal stairs yet? I mean, how are they not? We've had we've had these sort of stairs since The Sims 2. So since 2004, 10 years later, they have not cracked the code of diagonal stairs. It is a mystery that will live on for eons to come. Uh, maybe Sims 5 will get it. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, just adding a little weird sort of shape poking out the back there, a little diagonal bit there. So it, the idea is it sort of like follows through with the pool shape, how the pool's coming in a diagonal angle there. It's sort of, you know, it's sort of supposed to be somewhat like that. Um, to just give it a little bit more of a, a little bit more oomph, uh, and, uh, just adding a little roof trim around the top level here, and I'm using the flooring, or the, the, I guess the floor-shaped room pieces to create, uh, sort of a roof cover above the, the outside area and the pool, uh, because there will be an outdoor bar. There, I think there's, like, three bars in this building. There's one on the ground floor, and then there's, like, two on this top level. There's, like, one outside and one inside. 
And it's actually really cool when you get a lot of sims there. Uh, you see a lot of them swimming, a lot of them having some drinks, getting crazy. I think for the description of this lot on the gallery, I think I said, um, if you like your sims to get blind, absolutely blind on juice and go for a swim, this is the, <laughs> the venue for you. Uh, maybe not the, uh, the best thing to do in reality, but this is sims. So yeah, just get absolutely blind on juice and away you go. Oh yeah, so checking in the windows, it's largely, obviously, a, if you hadn't already guessed, a contemporary sort of style. Lots of large, large windows. Uh, I don't think I really put any curtains in this build just because it's a nightclub. You don't need curtains. You want to see the awesome views at nighttime. Uh, this is where I had a weird sort of lighting glitch when I was doing stairs. Uh, like you see that, like the, the lighting change and the game is thinking that the, uh, you can see it happening here. Uh, when I put the stairs in, it made the game think that it was outside, like the lighting. You'll see it change again as I mess around with it multiple, multiple times. I don't know why it did this. Uh, it hasn't done it yet, but you'll see it in a minute when it sort of goes and does it again. Um, I don't even end up using... The, there it is. See, that whole downstairs area sort of started to look like it's outside now, which is really, really weird. I, I don't know why it does that. So I put the walls back, make it... I, I, I'm messing around with the rooms, trying to make sure they're all one large room piece. They are... But it still, for some reason, thinks the lighting it is lighting it as if it were outside and didn't have a roof. I don't know why, but I, I, I mentioned that to, uh, I think, Aaron Hounts, the build designer of Sims 4. I said, yeah, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I found that uh, where it just had weird lighting issues. So, I don't know. Uh, I, pres I presume they're looking into it or something. I don't know. He, didn't, he just said that was interesting and he'll, he'll check it out. Um, yeah. So that was a weird glitch. Uh, anyways, just getting some little gardeny areas here on the, the pavement. I, I made, obviously, most of this lot just pavement because it's supposed to be like a sort of urban -y downtown area build. I mean, I guess it's not that much of a downtown area. It's just a little main street. But, you know, it's not supposed to be all grass and a nice little house front yard. So I just did a little ring of flowers around these trees here. A little bit of dirt. Uh, just to make it look a, a little bit, a little bit nice, you know, just a little bit different. Uh, and then I had a lot of issue here because I wanted to make this whole downstairs area one room. And you can see me trying to do it here. I was trying to make this whole area one room uh, because it was supposed to be. And I couldn't get that diagonal piece for the life of me to be part of the room. And uh, yeah, so I messed around with that for a while here. You, you'll see me going through and doing all that. Uh, yeah, doing all the walls. I don't know. It's it's. So could still definitely use a little bit of work on the, the whole room front. I love the rooms. And honestly, it does make building a lot quicker. But when you have glitches, it's kind of annoying. But it's, I guess it's still quicker than uh, non-rooms. But rooms with glitches are not fun. Just as a heads up. Uh, anyways, <laughs> putting in the stairs here. Uh, nice double wide stairs. I think I go with in the end. Right there in the middle. So yeah, uh, you'll definitely, you'll see the, the layout starting to take shape here. You have this sort of entrance foyer and then a bar there to the left. It'll, it'll obviously be a lot easier once we start furnishing it. Um, I mean, it's a pretty standard nightclub stuff, you know, plenty of seats. There's an open mic stand. There's a guitar as well for performing uh, and a few bars and yeah, plenty of seats. And the pool, of course, you know, it's called Aqua Nightclub for a reason. Uh, no fountains, though. Didn't I didn't decide to put any fountains in. I, I didn't want to use them. I wanted to use pools. And that's what I did. I used a pool. Uh, making sure there's plenty of windows. Uh, so now I'm choosing the flooring. I decided to go with... Uh, I was originally going to go with those tiles. Decided to use this sort of rich wood, wood flooring instead. Uh, but when I rotated it... Um, I don't know if you guys have had this glitch. When I rotated the tile, you can see there very briefly if you go back and pause the video. But I'll try and explain it. So when I rotated the tile... On a diagonal, when the tile was touching a diagonal wall, um, those tiles touching a diagonal wall weren't rotated and all the rest were. So it created this really weird disjointed sort of look. Um, and so I didn't rotate the, the, the floorboards in the end because it was kind of weird and didn't work very well. Um, yeah, that was something else I found. Uh, anyways, going for this sort of deep red color because I don't know, I thought it looked kind of cool. I mean, I guess it would have made more sense to go with a uh, blue because it's Aqua Nightclub, but, you know, red. I, th I, thought, I thought the red looked good, so I went with that. And then we went for quite a sort of, um, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it. I guess just a sort of luxurious interior. You know, those rich wood floors, dark walls, uh, plenty of lights. And then it's a very sort of, yeah, I, I would say it's a luxurious kind of interior design to it. Uh, and quite contemporary as well in terms of the furniture items I use. 
And uh, yeah, so getting the lights in, getting ready to furnish now. It's all going well. Getting some outdoor lights as well. You, I use those little three-pronged lights for the outdoors. thought they went pretty well. Uh, yeah, so this is the first community lot I've actually built in The Sims 4. Uh, have not built any others yet. I don't... What else can you build? I mean, there's a whole bunch of other ones there. But <laughs> I haven't really looked into building them yet. But uh, yeah, this is the first one I built and I, it was quite cool. So that's a, that's a milestone for me. Uh, that bar fit in so well there that I couldn't not put it there. So I put a door behind it just to make sure you could actually access the bar. <laughs> so there's actually a bartender there. And a little curved counter piece there for the, the little bar front. And we get some nice black contemporary stools. And we get a few little tables in here as well because nightclubs do require some dining uh, to be included. You know, like some dining tables and chairs. I wish, wish there were restaurants. I really hope they add restaurants in as soon as possible. Like the first expansion pack. Hope there's restaurants. I, I sincerely hope. I've said this in multiple of my videos. That I, I really hope that the first expansion is like business related. So like open for business or community lot related. Because The Sims 4 is set up in such a way that open for business would work really, really well. Uh, along with restaurants would work really, really well, and shops would work really, really well. Like, you know, Sims 2 had grocery stores and all that kind of stuff, and that would work really well in The Sims 4. I really hope that that's the first expansion pack, because it is so obvious that it like that it, it can be put in the game, and it's so obvious that that should be the first thing, because that would just expand the sort of interactivity of these sort of worlds that we already have, without uh, sort of, you know, like... Uh, going into a whole new sort of style of gameplay. This sort of just expands upon the current world. Kind of like um, the way, like, kind of like, you know, if you ever, well, I don't know. In The Sims 1, anyways, The Sims 1, you had the, uh, just, you, you just did your house and that was all. You couldn't even leave your house in the base game. Uh, then the expansion, it was House Party, the first one. Oh, was it Live and Large? No, Live and Large, I think, was first. Yeah, and then just added more stuff for the home, and then House Party again added more stuff for the home, then they had Hot Date, and that was the one that added community lots. That was amazing. Um, anyways, I don't know why I was saying it's like Sims 1, because it's really not. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, I think it would make a lot of sense if they had a community lot focused expansion pack. Whether it be businesses, or whether it be, I don't know, like a Hot Date styled one, so you know, like going out on dates to restaurants, or that kind of stuff. But I... If it's not the first expansion pack, it's gonna be an expansion pack. It can't. There can't not be a community lot slash business related pack that has to exist, just because the game is built for that. Anyways, doing the restroom now. It's uh yeah, uh yeah. So a bunch of toilets, five toilets, all ready to go. Have a quick squeeze and plenty of sinks to wash your hands on. Uh, that was actually really annoying to build because of the shape of the room. You saw I had to actually adjust the exterior wall to fit that in just because there wasn't enough room. Um, and then, anyways, that's a little waiting room outside of the bathroom, you know, because uh, there might be a queue. There usually is at nightclubs or that kind of stuff or a club in general. So you maybe you want to have a little sit down, watch the people swimming in the pool because uh, obviously a big glass window into the pool there, which is really, really cool. Um, trying to fit a pot plant in there, or a potted plant. I always say pot plant. <laughs> some some people are just like, just like, you know, they're like, oh, when you say pot plant, I think you mean something else. Um, I don't know. I don't know why I say pot plant. It's just easier than saying potted plant, I guess. Well, it's actually not really that much harder. I uh, just a habit, I guess. Um, anyways, plenty of pot plants. Um, not that kind of pot, though. Just the pot that you put on the floor. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I just did that sort of upper level there and the, the restroom. Now I'm doing the ground floor bar, which is uh, larger than the, the sort of upstairs one. So it has a couple of sofas, coffee tables, so you can sit down, have a nice drink and a chat, bring your date here, have a nice, have a really nice evening, you know, just a, just a nice, relaxing vibe. This, this downstairs area is supposed to just be like a classy little uh, indoor... Well, obviously it's indoor. Classy little sort of bar area. You can sit down and have a chat. Nothing too clubby about it, really. Um, plenty of plenty of drinks on the wall, though. I'm about to chuck them in now. There they are. Plenty of drinks. Uh, there they are. Mm, drink up. Uh, yeah, so it's sort of just a, a closed off area, uh, separate from the rest of the pool top or the rooftop pool and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I decided to put some trees on the back here because the, I had to change that wall so much. You saw that on the upper level, I had to change the exterior wall where the bathrooms are. 
And then I had to change that wall there where those large windows were because I put the, the all the drinks on the wall. So I decided to put trees in front of that wall because it, it didn't look as good as I had. A, that, that, that exterior wall didn't look as good as I wanted it to. And now it does because it has trees in front of it. Uh, so there's this little uh, sort of hallway section on the other side of the stairs, which I actually did put there on purpose just because I thought it was a cool kind of shape. Uh, definitely played around with shapes of rooms in this build. Uh, lots of diagonals, lots of sort of interesting shaped rooms as well, like thin, uh, thin rooms, diagonal rooms. Kind of, kind of. It was definitely, it was definitely interesting to work with because I don't think I've done, I've done, I haven't done anything massively diagonal. I, I mean, I have done. I think in one of my previous builds, I think was it Spunky Starter? Was that the one that had the diagonal section on it? I don't know. One of, one of the, the houses I did build did have a sort of diagonal section, but not to this degree. Like, this this is like everything is diagonal, pretty much, or a weird shape that is not easy to sort of work with. Uh, so lots of outdoor dining, alfresco dining up here on the top level, a nice bar there as well to grab your drinks um, and sort of sit there, have a sit next to the pool, have a quick swim. Uh, lots of seating in this little hallway area. This is what I'm talking about, interesting shapes, because that's like... A three wide sort of kind of hallway sort of area there. Definitely, definitely an interesting, definitely an interesting shape to try and furnish. I'll tell you what. But it's actually very cool when sort of the Sims come and chill out here. It's a very, it's a very relaxed sort of vibe. It's not, it's not, it's definitely not like a oons oons type of club at all. It's more of a yeah, that's a nice club. Uh, there's a little mic stand there, a little stool. Uh, to I guess they, they obviously don't sit on it, but that's where they can uh, do their sort of their routine. On the lower level, that's on the ground floor in this sort of more relaxed one. There's the guitar. Another little sort of alcove area. I was going to do it originally like a little audience area there, but then I thought that would look stupid. And it did look stupid, so I changed it to just having some nice sort of sofas scattered around. So you can sit down, have a chat, have a relax. This is pretty much the bathroom level, so I don't think Sims really use this level unless they're going to the bathroom because there's nothing. There's no bar on it, and the pool's on the top level. <laughs> the mic is on the other level. I guess if they're using the guitar, they could use this level. But other than that, it's sort of like a, a filler level, really, <laughs> more than anything. Uh, got a cool rug, though, so that's okay. Um, a lot of rotating now. It's like, ooh, does that look good? Yep, we're good, we're good. Uh, a little bit more dining here, too. I thought I'd just add tables in because it looked, it looked I don't know, it looked a little bit empty. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else to place in an iClub uh, besides, I guess, like plants decorations, seating, bars, but I've already got plenty of bars, so I didn't really need to put any more. Um, even more, se plenty of seating. I'll tell you what, there's no shortage of seating in this place. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I, I don't know if there's other items I was missing. I, like, I wasn't sure. I was like, is there something else I could put in here? I don't know. I didn't, though. Lots of seating. Just cleaning up that little sort of tree area there, uh, so it looked a little bit nicer. And... Uh, just uh, sort of doing the finishing touches on the furnishings now of the uh, club. Uh, that's the only place I use that red coffee table. I don't know why, but it looked good, so I put it there. Like, I don't know why I didn't use it anywhere else, but that was, like, the only place I did use it. And it looked good, so I put it there. Nice little rug in there. So that's the, this is, like, the sort of entrance for you. It, it's definitely a very sort of luxurious, classy sort of club. It ain't your lowbrow, cheap, you know, dive, dive bar, so... You gotta have a little bit of cash in your pocket to come to this place. I wish you could set like the sort of uh, price of <laughs> of your sort of, of like the class of Sims that generally go here. So you know, like if you have more than a hundred thousand, this is where you go. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. This is because I don't I don't want my lowbrow rags to riches Sims coming here. This is not where they're allowed to go. They should be refused. There should be dress code. I should be able to set a dress code. Uh, but anyways, we are about to jump into the screenshots now. Uh, all taken at night time because it is a nightclub, of course. So there is the front with a beautiful pool. I love the look of pools in this game. Honestly, it looks really cool. And I put that sort of nightclub sign on the side of the glass. Because again, I thought that looked kind of cool. So we've got a few exterior shots just showing all around here. There is the rooftop pool and seating area, which I think actually looks really, really awesome. Turned out better than I could have hoped. Um, another shot of the front there, sort of a lower angle. And there's the other side, plenty of windows. We can see all the different levels and all the objects on the inside, which I think looks really cool. Here is the entrance foyer, a couple of sims in here as well. So this is where they'll uh, sort of enter and leave. Here's the classy club, a couple of people at the bar there, getting a few drinks, getting their juice on. 
another angle there. We can see back through to the foyer and on the left is that sort of hallway E section next to the stairs, uh, which I think is quite a nice little privacy sort of section there. Uh, here is the second floor, also known as the bathroom level. Um, and here is uh, on the left there is where the guitar is. You can see the bathroom door at the back straight ahead. Obviously the pool, if you hadn't already noticed, is right in front of us. Uh, and here we go into the public restrooms. Uh, no shots of the toilets though, because they're literally just toilets. Uh, here is the top level now, the most interesting one, with the indoor bar area there and dining. Uh, and here is another shot, and you can see the pool outside there. I love, I love the look of this level. Th this level is why I built this lot, just because it looks. This top level is my favorite uh, by far. It just looks really, really cool, and I really enjoyed it. It was, it was, it was definitely something that was. Uh, uh, that I was proud of when it was done. Uh, and again, of course, you can download this on the gallery by searching hashtag aqua, hashtag the sim supply, or my origin ID, which is the sim supply. Or of course, you can also search the name of the lot, which is aqua nightclub. But thank you so much for watching this. And thank you again for getting me to 150,000 subscribers. That is incredible. And uh, I just, I can't thank you. I honestly can't thank you enough for that. It's, it's awesome. Uh, anyways, this is aqua nightclub. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time and have an awesome day.